it's phenomenal to have this the beginning of this rig. And uh, some of the stuff I was saying before is that, you know, working with uh, Wendell Jenkins uh, was where we started in putting together this rig, you know. And, uh, you know, Wendell Jenkins at Turner Custom Chop Mics in Massachusetts, Wendell is phenomenal. Uh, it was really interesting because when he and I first started talking about the back on track record, the first thing this guy said to me, well, what's your sound? What are you trying to do, Jordan? I heard your other stuff. What's this one? And it was really cool because that's the first time that somebody had ever really said that. Before with my other projects, um, you know, the stuff with Give Me a Chance on, J on JSP Records, I just had, you know, a couple of great static mics I'd plug into my Deville every night and play. Uh, but that was the beginning. And, and, and so with this rig that we have set up with this early series Sunny Junior 410 and this slightly touched modified uh, 59 reissue, basement, it's, it's the foundation of what I'm doing. And with this new record, it's the first time that I'm actually creating a sound, a sound that I hear in my head. And the importance of having both amps is because, uh, and the AV box is the ability, or the AVY box, is the ability to run both amps for a uniform sound, and then click between one and have a tone that I can use for these more funk-driven songs, right? And uh, so when I add these three other pedals, which I'm really excited about, which I'll be doing shortly, uh, there's a pedal board that I had designed with Phil Dewhurst at Clydesdale Road Cases. And, you know, Phil's an industry legend, so I brought the stuff in, I said, this is what I'm trying to do. And it was phenomenal <laughs> because he was like, okay, man, and he designed this killer board, it's gonna fit these three other pedals. And with those three other pedals, I'm gonna be able to capture this really cool idea and this sound I have for these funk driven songs. And uh, so I'll be able to switch between the two or run them both. And uh, for what I am as a harp player, I love power. And uh, you know, people have said to me, well, how do you describe your music? I go, well, it's blues, but it's my version of blues. And it's most certainly funk driven rock blues, right? So. You know, and, and, and to be honest, um, <laughs> and I was saying this to somebody else, uh, I just dig the aesthetics of two amps, right? So um, it's kind of awesome that in order to do what I want to do, I need both of them. And uh, so it's not just capturing the tone and what I want to do in the studio, it's being able to also then replicate that live. So it's, it's this is the beginning. <laughs> excited to be able to to uh, go this deep into it and uh, it's just it, it's exciting to be working with people who are like well what do you want to do <laughs> what's the plan and uh, as I said uh, this new record it's gonna be the first time not just with harmonica but period that I'm creating this sound and uh, this will as most artists have this will be my sound and uh, I'm really excited about it and most importantly it's, it'll be the sound for this record but it's what I want to sound like and it's what I want to play like. So um, being surrounded right now with people like Michael Friedman and uh, like I said, Wendell Jenkins, uh, and uh, it's just, it's humbling. It's really humbling to have so many great people that are interested and driven to uh, assisting me in making this happen. It's, it's a dream come true, man. Like I think any harmonica player would want to stand in front of this. And uh, as I was saying, man, like Wendell has created some of the best microphones I could ever hope for. And uh, 
working with him to create this sound. Uh, I guess I can just say that if you're going to work with people, why not uh, surround yourself with people who actually understand or look to uh, assist in what it is that you're trying to do, you know? And, um, you know, Wendell's a scientist. He's a technician, right? And, uh, and he really, uh, he doesn't want to do anything wrong, which is pretty amazing to be surrounded by people like that. So this is the beginning. 59 Fender Basement, slightly touched, it's three issue Fender Basement. Uh, it's, I love this amp. And uh, paired with a uh, early uh, issue uh, Sunny Junior 410 uh, amp. And the two of them, this is the beginning of where I'm going musically uh, with a harp tone. And as I said, um, when the new pedal board comes in, I'm gonna add in these three other pedals which will allow me with the ABY switch to flip between the two sounds and or run them both together for this projected how I see killer harp tone. And uh, I'm really excited. And it's even more exciting to have the support of people that uh, really understand what I'm trying to do. And if they don't understand, they want to. <laughs> so it's... I don't know, man. Dreams come true, right? And, uh, you know, uh, it, when I look at this, it's really quite cool because um, it seems like just yesterday I was in my bedroom, you know, dancing to records and stuff and digging Paul Butterfield records and Mark Winter from the Nighthawks and James Cotton, William Clark, Frank Frost, Frank Frost and Jelly Roll Kings. Like, like, those are the harp players that I love. And to me, they're all artists. They're all individualists. They all have their signature sound. They, they, they didn't come out sounding like other people. Like, you, like you, you can hear those harp players and go, okay, yeah, this, you know, William Clark's great at this, Cotton's great at that. But what I love most about those harp players, Paul Butterfield and such, is they, when they hit the switch, you go, whoa, that's Paul Butterfield, you know? And um, that's, for me, what I love most about artistry. It's like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm someone who's never, I've never been able to withhold the things that inspire my thinking. Um, so I'm always willing to share and tell people where it is and what it is and how I found it. But I think that when it comes to creating something, it needs to be identifiable to you, you know, and uh, this is the beginning of me. And I couldn't do it had I, had I not had these individuals behind me in the creation of this new record. And um, as I said, this new record, it's the first time I'm creating a sound in a completed project that's going to reflect the vision in which I've got musically. And this harp tone uh, and the ability to apply this to this new record is of the utmost importance. And uh, as I said, it's really wild when you work with people who uh, not only know what they're doing, but they're driven to get it right. And um, Wendell Jenkins, like I said, before we did anything to amp, he asked me, hey man, so what are you trying to do? Jordan, man, you know, uh, you know, it's kind of funny, this guy's a veteran, <laughs> he's been around forever, he's worked with everyone, and he calls me Jordy, which is just kind of cool. All the great people in my life always call me Jordy, but you know, we, we spent hours on the phone just talking about microphones, and him teaching me about the elements of microphones, and how Paul Butterfield did this, or William Clark, or whatever, and it's really wild because in the beginning, all I ever used was the static microphone. And uh, now I don't use the static microphones. I use Turner microphones and stuff. And, um, and it's because Wendell assisted me going, hey man, maybe you try this or try that. But that was the beginning. And, uh, and this is where we're at currently. And um, having these amps and this setup the way it is right now, this is the dream come true because this is, uh, to me, something I've wanted my whole life. And uh, you know, the great thing about being an artist is that we're little kids forever, right? Because you're in love constantly with the thought of what's possible. And uh, so if you're an artist in which you have the opportunity to have other people appreciate what you do, then you're really driven to get it right, you know? and. Uh, so as I said, it's just, it's phenomenal to find myself surrounded by people who have gotten to this point 
but have done so because they see the value in what it is I'm trying to do. And for that, I'm grateful. I'm, I'm so incredibly honored to uh, find myself, you know, like I said, call me Phil Dewhurst, you know, Kleiser Roke is, it's, this isn't a big project, it's just this, but I can't get it wrong. And he's like, come on down, man. And we start putting it all together. So, you know, it starts with Wendell Jenkins, microphone. Here we are now, Vance. And uh, I couldn't be happier. It's, uh, this is the beginning of where I'm going. And uh, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. It's really awesome. Dreams come true. <laughs> this is, and this is proof.